Yes, we are still in the icy grip of winter here in Beaverland. And there are still many unanswered questions. Wow. For months now, we've been trying to figure out where the beavers are going when they're not in our lodge. And today, thanks to a tip-off by a cross-country skier, we have found another lodge on the pond. It might be another family of beavers, or it might be where our beavers went for their little summer cottage by the lake. The challenge is how to track the beavers' movements under the ice. The goal here is to see the beavers under the ice. Ice fishing for beavers. Right away, we were amazed to see summer creatures like tadpoles and salamanders swimming around under the ice. And then the muskrats appeared, coming and going on their daily circuit. They must still be using part of the beaver lodge. And then, out of the darkness, they appeared. Our very own rock stars, the beavers. get a better look. You've heard of bobbing for apples. How about kebabbing for apples? It's amazing to me that the beavers can navigate and find food in complete darkness, especially considering that their nostrils are closed tight underwater. Ah, he's taking the bait. After a winter of munching on soggy tubers, just imagine the joy of this crispy, golden, delicious apple. Luckily, we were able to de-muck the East Wing camera just in time to enjoy the sight of a beaver savoring this highly prized treat. Hopefully we have not disrupted the social order in the lodge, but there is plenty to go around. Normally, I don't advocate feeding wildlife, but since these beavers are providing us with such quality entertainment, I felt they deserved a little kickback. But have we crossed an ethical divide? Stay tuned for more moral quandaries, and maybe even the coming of spring from the Beaver Lodge. <laughs>